Welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We're coming to you live from day three of the Singapore FinTech Festival. And joining me for this segment, we have Connie Long. She's a financial services business lead at Asia with Microsoft. And we're going to talk about driving intelligent banking. Connie, it's great to have you with us. And as you know, banks are under ever increasing pressure to deliver payment systems to customers in real time. Tell us what some of the drivers of intelligent banking are. Thank you, because thank you for having me. I think the key driver is really change in our industry. And the changes can be many folks. So the first one is really driving different customer experience. I think the customer experience for the digital world on the retail and other industries have drive our financial services customer to that level. And then we need to respond to that the digital world. I think having a digital experience is one, which is a high demand for our customer. The second thing is really uh, being intermediated because you know, um, some of the startups and fintechs are really coming into the financial services and offering product and services that doesn't have to be like a bank. So I think those uh, um, very, very nice digital product and services are actually giving a threat to our customers as well. What about some of the challenges with risk management and security? Yeah, so that really on the risk management and maybe also as payments is driven by the changing regulations. Because regulation sometimes is driving because we are highly regulated industries. So regulators can sometimes be a good thing which is driving innovation like the have a festival and right. all the fostering innovation, the industry to come together and the ecosystem. But they're also making changes so that like some guidelines on open banking, some guidelines on real time, faster payments, so that's why you know, have to do payments transformation to, res to respond to that and being compliant to that requirement. The other thing about it is because you have to be more digital, then it's the cyber risk and fraud actually comes as a, uh, a bigger challenge. I think that's where technology can be an enabler to solve some of these challenges that our industry is facing. What about the banks overcoming barriers to innovation and becoming more nimble? I think the banks is facing those challenges from a um, transformation perspective. So a lot of people start off with like an IT project. But digital transformation is really not an IT project. It's more like a CEO agenda. And it becomes very quickly that you need to have a very bold vision how you want to transform your business, how do you respond to these uh, threats that is coming from different industries or startups or the virtual bank license which might come in from a different uh, uh, angle. And then you have to think about how do you enable your capabilities and capabilities is also about skills and people and talent. And a lot of times technology is an enabler to that but it's really not a technology project as such but it's mostly it's a, it's a really CEO driving organization change, business model change and how do you respond to all these and maintain your core value that you can still have a service that you can offer to your, to your customers. What about the role of technologies like AI and the cloud for intelligent banking? I think that is really to Again, putting the customer in the call center is how technology can help you be responsive, right? I think the key thing is how can you transform your business? And I think our customers are thinking about cloud, data and AI is a very good use of tools and also can accelerate that business transformation. So in terms of responding to security and compliance, I think the cloud actually is more secure than your own data center. And I think that is a very good base point to make you more compliant and then reducing your compliance costs. The use of data and AI is also very important for being customer centric. Because you need to really know and have a 360 degree view of the customer to be able to offer a more tailored, personalized service and differentiate yourself. That's where the AI comes in. And all of the machine learning and AI tools that we offer can be an accelerator again to help you make the customer journey faster. All right, to wrap up here, a best use case of the intelligent banking transformation. There's a the couple of them in Asia, so like Yes Bank in India. Yes Bank in India is trying to transform the customer so that they have a seamless customer experience instead of browsing through different websites and web pages of looking for the services. So they launch a chatbot, and when they launch a chatbot, since it's launched, it's actually touching 8.3 million customers. That speed is unbelievable. So that's really how an AI can do for our, our customers. The other one is on China. We have a China asset management company for the traders. How can I combine the experienced trader with some smart decision with data and AI? So we have a platform, we have a service, a, a partner that enable the trader to make smarter decisions and advise the customers. And the third one that we have is in Australia, where you have a Moella. Moella is actually a loan application provider. Traditionally, a loan takes seven, 14 days to approve a process with the cloud and journey with our customers and, and partner to do the credit ratios and the credit scoring, we were able to do it within 24 to 40 hours. So those are really nice transformation that touch on how you can offer better services and in a secure and compliant way. All right, Connie, thanks so much for joining us at the FinTech Festival. And thank you for joining us throughout the day on NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Joe Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.